Excessive self-regard tendency is the natural tendency to overestimate your own abilities, particularly if you have little experience with the matter at hand. The excessive self-regard tendency is even more pronounced if you don't know much about the subject at hand. The more incompetent a person is, the less they realize they're incompetent. As Charles Darwin's famous quip goes, ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge. This is a book that I read a year or two ago called The Personal MBA. It's about, you know, kind of having your master's in business. And it, it basically, like, its summation is taking a MBA and kind of summing it down to one, one volume. It's a good read if you're into that kind of thing and you're into managing businesses in general. However, uh, this specific part I thought was extremely interesting when it comes to shooting or really learning any skill. But because this is a gun channel, we'll talk about shooting. And... I referenced that in conversation today and I thought I should make a video about that. So I teach permit to carry classes, I also teach proper shooting classes. They're different. And I often run into people who have never taken a training course or uh, you know, maybe they've been around guns their whole life but they've never been trained and there is this excessive self-regard tendency, right? Where they don't know much and because they don't know much, they think they know a lot. And it's just an interesting thing. Apparently, it's a well-noted uh, natural maybe natural phenomenon might be the wrong word, but it's a thing. It's a thing that people do where they don't know a whole lot and they think, therefore, that they know a lot because they're so ignorant that they don't know what they don't know. Uh, this is this goes for me. This goes for you. I mean, like we all do this. This is a people thing. I'm not, I'm not making fun of anybody specifically here. This is a people thing. But I do think it's a super interesting thing when it comes to shooting because people I run into have a natural tendency to overestimate their shooting ability. 99% of the people I start to work with overestimate their shooting ability. Rarely do I run into the person, rarely do I run into the person who underestimates their shooting ability. Again, the vast majority of people who maybe never held the gun before, or maybe never done what else, they overestimate their shooting ability. So when I first start to work with people, we usually start at about three yards, and the thing I hear almost every time my clockwork, I can set my watch by it, is th this close? Yeah, trust me, right? And then they have trouble hitting the target. So again, I'm not making fun of anybody. I, I just think it's an interesting thing that we do as humans where we have this natural ability to overestimate our, our skill level. And when you're so ignorant, you don't even know what you don't know, you think you know a lot. So again, this is another reason that we need to be trained, that we need to get training. I take classes every year uh, and I usually walk away feeling like a failure and like I don't know anything and I should close up shop because I'm learning, because I'm trying to get better, right? So th that, that's why we take classes is to learn and to learn what we don't know so that we can continue to get better and we continue to push ourselves up that ladder. I'm, I'm not just saying that as a... Uh, self-serving thing because I happen to teach guns. I'm saying that as a person who goes to learn guns, uh, that, that that's really what it is. It can be a, learning can be a painful experience and failure can be a painful experience. But it, I'm doing that because I want to become a better shooter and I want to become a better teacher and I just want to be better at this whole thing that we do. Okay. So one, have patience with the people who think they know and they don't know. Okay, that's hard, but have patience with them, uh, even if they don't know. I was hanging out with a friend of mine, we were doing some shooting, and he kept asking me very specific, detailed questions about what this, what about this one little thing, and this little thing, and basically the theme was, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know how to do this better than you do, Dylan. And I'm thinking, yeah, who's devoted the, the past, you know, X number of years to this and spent hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars and shot thousands of rounds? Like, who, which, between which one of us, who's done that? Uh... And I didn't say that because that's just mean. But my point being that you need to be patient with people as they're coming along, right? They're on a learning journey just like you're on a learning journey. We have to be patient with the people as we come along. And the second thing is learn what you don't know. Uh, maybe you've taken a bunch of pew-pew classes and now you can you know, operate your gun effectively. 
Well, now that you've done that, you've taken some classes on that, maybe now it's time to start talking about tactics, right? Or maybe you've done that with a pistol, but you don't know anything about a rifle, and, and you need to start doing that. Like, There's a lot more to this that you probably don't know. So start to learn about the stuff that you don't know. Don't just stay comfortable shooting your fast pistols and, and thinking, you know, I have a two second draw that's good enough, or I have a one and a half second draw that's good enough, or I have a sub one second draw that's good enough. There's, we can always be getting better and we can always be pushing up that ladder to be better shooters. So don't suffer from excessive self-regard tendency. Don't think you're better than you are. Train, uh, train, train often, train smartly, and then you will have a very real estimation of your abilities so that if your day ever comes and you have to use that gun to save your life, you're going to know what you can and can't do. Do brave deeds and endure.